matter of perspective, tied to time and place, love and friendship, life and death. Vlad had led me to Mona's apartment at gunpoint. Just missed you at Vodka and at Vinny's. Third time is the charm. We can't get him up here. The head is too big to fit through the door. Let Vinny stay in the funhouse. That's where he belongs. I'll get to him in a moment. Ironic, isn't it? What is? How you fell for the killer working for the man who got your family killed. Love is blind. Everything is subjective. Choices, answers, good and evil. Woden sent the Project Valhalla file to the DA to put a scare on him. Your family paid the price. Mona is like me, just in the opposite camp, killing the society members allied with me. How funny is that? I hate to do this, but you know how you are. You would never let it go. Einstein was right. Time is relative to the observer. When you're looking down the barrel of a gun, time slows down. Your whole life flashes by, heartbreak and scars. Stay with it, and you can live a lifetime in that split second. Besides, a gentleman always avenges the insults done to his lady. You did kill Winterson. <laughs> In the dream, I was an invisible ghost, hovering outside my body. Detective Payne, the boss is already here. He's waiting for you inside. Hope you haven't had your lunch yet. This one's bad. A crime of passion. This one's yours, Payne. You're the only one who could solve it. A bullet in the head. The killer's looking for an answer, but he's looking for it in the wrong place. He should be looking for it in his own head. The suspect is ready for a lineup. You should hurry, Payne, or you'll miss him. Oh! His heart broke. Damn it, we're losing him. Give him hope. Six milligrams. Charge. NYPD, drop the gun. What are you going to do about it, pal? We're all guilty of something if you look hard enough. to wake up. That won't help a thing. The bullet in my head brought me to you. Max, come on. Time to wake up. She was beautiful. I hated her for making me feel this way. Now that I was with her, I was reluctant to hear her answers. You okay? Vlad was headed to Woden's Manor. <sighs> don't be stupid. You're not in shape to go anywhere. You'll die. I don't care. This isn't your fight, Max. You can walk away. I'm asking you. I didn't deserve to walk away. There are no happy endings. You're coming with me. It was too late. I couldn't trust her. 
Not before I had seen this through.